you look in the description, you'll have skips or on the timeline on the video, there should be markers where you can click it. Something new YouTube is doing for some channels. Don't know, we'll see what happens. All right, the other thing I've been working on is this dump truck. Oh man, this thing has tightened up the oil pan. I had a, I've had videos of all that. I just did this, been working on this. Brake dilly is messed up, it was leaking out the back. I got it, we have a new one. Right now we have the fuel pump right here. I did have the other one put on, the manual one, but so we're just, we kept getting one I and mean, they wouldn't pump up. I put a 350 one on here, but the ports are too, uh, are wrong. 350 pump just fine, but the other ones, the 366 ones or whatever, it didn't work. I gotta fix the uh, choke on it because it doesn't go shut. Anyway, there's a gas tank for right now because we just wanted to make sure we was getting fuel. And it's gonna be all different. I'm gonna go down and put it on the bottom of the tank down there. I don't like working on Chevys. And then I gotta empty the bed out and I gotta cut a hole in the bed if there's not one there and put fluid in it because it's one of them old deals where you have to put fluid in the cylinder. Stupid. We could I might use a tractor. I'm not sure. If I can if it if I can't cut it and figure it out that way, I'll probably just use a John Deere tractor and use a bucket and chain it and lift it all up. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, I'm planning on using this. But the skid steer is going to be neat if we can get it working this summer. Okay, so what I've been doing the past who knows how long. I'm working on this mower. Well, I haven't really worked on it all the time, but doing other things. Well, I had to change the gasket between the, the crankcase or whatever you can call that. That wasn't too bad. I was kind of nervous about the governor deal, but I watched a video on it, and the guy was a real goof, but it was he was right. That looks like a mess there. Anyway, the pump went out on the side here, and the gas tank had a big old leak in the, the bottom of the back of it. But anyway, I just put this up there. And then I just run it up right up under here. And it works as long as you don't get on incline. Like if you go up out of a ditch or something, you have problems. It might die and you have to try to get fuel back in there. It's just gravity fed. I'm going to put a bracket up here. That's just makeshift for right now. Um, because, you know, I, I touched the battery post. Don't worry about that. That's why it's arced. But anyway, I got some battery posts I'm going to put in there. And I did have a the switch. The switch right here. This was what I used for my blades engaged because the switch was bad. This one right here. Now it works good. I don't, I don't have it buried, but anyway, what, what I did have is a ground wire. So I had this ground wire and it's over here. It actually bolts on the side down here on the bottom. You can't see, but it's like right down here. And it goes over here and you would plug it into one here and you take your light switch and you would plug the one into the other one and put your one to the hot. And then you have your light switch and it would flip your, engage your stuff. If it works right, you should be able to take and actually engage it while the key is just turned on on position. You hear it click. A little PTO down there. So this That's tiller that. still works, but uh, it's cutting out now. I think I put some gas in it and gas it outside. I think it got a little water in it. And it had some problems. I took the cover off, redid the points or the adjust them and a bunch of stuff. You use a playing card to, for this around the flywheel there if you might know what I'm talking about. Strawberries are kind of <laughs> Weed like a bunch of weeds. I'm we they just kind of took off. Think about it. I got a bunch of tomato plants. Got about 44 tomato plants like that. These has been mudded in. This whole row has been mudded in. This right here has been mudded. And we have one row here of 10, one row here of 10, and then one row of 10. I took a post hole digger and I did these because the tiller didn't run. Then I took and got the tiller working and I did all this. So we have quite a bit, well, I should say. And then down here, got all this. So we'll go down this way and we'll go down here. This is just grass. We had so much rain, it's just been bad. And then we have some cucumbers here. Hopefully they go up. Three little pods here, two over there. Um, might be crowded out. Same way on this side. I got to till all this up in here again. And we got some right here to here. So hopefully, and I think I'm gonna try to can me, can myself some pickles stuff. I like doing all that stuff. I like cooking, I like doing all that stuff. So anyway, then I think what I'm gonna do later on, after we get all this, I get all this stuff going good. I get that Chevy truck going. I'm gonna put some cylinder, some hydraulic hoses on a skid steer. We're gonna try to get it going if it hasn't been done already. I hasn't done it yet. And then we'll get a zero turn mower and I wanna fix that and try to get it going. Oh, that, that lawnmower has a flat tire on the back. I forgot to show that, but now you might have seen it. But anyway, I got some brand new uh, ATV tires I'm going to put on there. 
So that's going to be pretty cool. So anyway, I haven't played Call of Duty much. Call of Duty's been, I'm waiting for that new update. I think what, June 3rd, June, July, yeah, June 3rd. It's going to be a new one. Can't wait to see what they have. Probably buy the battle pass for that. I always do it. Seems like a waste of money for some people, but I kind of like doing that. Even I only play it a couple times in the battle pass, <laughs> but it's fun for me. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. You ever try them? They got briars everywhere. Like so. Eat them. You bite that end off there. Kind of. There's eat them. Pretty good. They actually get ripe. Like gooseberry pie and stuff like that. You ever heard of it? Like that. We got a couple of these. Have a cherry tree too. I'll show you that in a second. I love it out here in the country. I live here all my life. Well, pretty much all my life. Moved to hell one time. Hated it. Couldn't go outside without some feel like someone's looking at you. But anyway. You can eat them and chew them. I like that. They're good. They're really good. I don't know if you want to eat too many. You might have to go to the bathroom. But I'm going to go to the cherries now and see what that's like. All right, so these are wild cherries. This one's a little green. <laughs> A little white, whatever. But they got a seed inside them. Got a seed. You throw it out. And that one up there. I don't watch this stuff. I'm not too worried about. We don't use pesticide or nothing. Usually the birds come and hit them first, and we don't have no hardly any of them. We're good in here. I mean, not real often. And something's been eating these. But it was picked yesterday to pick them. Anyway, that one probably not gonna be too happy. But anyway, here's one. Looks pretty good. Good enough. I'm gonna eat this one. I don't really wash them off. A bunch of dirt on them, I just wipe them off. I don't care about them. Pretty country, laid back, doing country all my life. So, looks like one in here. You gotta watch sometimes, there's little runners that run around in here, like little grape things, or not grape, yeah, grape things, strawberries. Anyway, there you are. Pretty good, we out here working in dirt. You just taking. Pick you a strawberry and eat it. Dirty hands or not, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Anyway, hope you all doing doing, doing good. Not like it's like a horse eating in, in your ear, huh? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.